Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. I am excited to finally bring you the rarest of the rare of the Flying Dog Multi 12 Pack Series. It's the Flying Bitch. Uh, what it is, is it's a uh, Belgian style Indian Pale Ale, Flying Bitch being a female dog. Uh, Flying Dog, all of their beers have that dog theme. Uh, the website's flyingdogales.com. Um, this beer you can only get in the 12 pack, I was told. I've never seen it in a six pack anywhere. And it's also one of those beers that um, a lot of stores won't carry because it has the word bitch in it. So just as an FYI. Um, if that offends you, don't buy this beer, don't buy the 12 pack. Now, what's cool about this is the cap is this uh, Canis Major, uh, kind of purple and yellow cap. And uh, the way Flying Dog describes this uh, series of beers is says, they're high gravity, limited release that sends seekers miles to find them. I bought this in a 12 pack that was over $20 for the 12 pack. Um, so it is hard to find. I've never seen it anywhere else, which is why I bought it. Um, now what it is, like I said, is a Belgian style Indian pale ale. I like pale ales. I like beers that are bitter. It's 8.3% alcohol. Um, they do brew it year round. Uh, IBUs are 60, so it's, it's, it's almost on the lower side of some Indian pale ales. It'd be closer to almost to the pale ale side, but uh, it definitely um, has some nice bitter flavor to it. It's got three different kinds of hops, uh, Warrior, Columbus, and Amarillo hops. If you look at it, um, it kind of has a red tint to it. Uh, it's got a nice head on it, kind of dances and, and uh, kind of sticks to the side of the glass. It's got a considerable amount of, uh, of carbonation as well. I poured this probably five, ten minutes ago, and uh, there's a lot of bubbles coming out of that. But anyway, um, all right, so when you first crack this beer open, you can smell hops, you can smell Indian pale ale flavor, which is awesome. I like it a lot. Um, the way that... Um, Flying Dog describes it as an American IPA with on the hop side and a Belgian funk of raging bitch brought out with food. Um, it's got a pine and grapefruit type undertones and flavor to it and you can definitely taste both. When you smell it, it has a sweet kind of grapefruity smell to it and um, it has one of those things that I think a lot of, like they're talking about different uh, cheeses and spicy foods might make this beer really, really good. Um, I think this beer would be great with Mexican, like chips and salsa type thing. Um, they talk about um, ginger, wasabi, cayenne, Cajun, uh, tangy cheeses and dark chocolates as well. But it's just got one of those really unique Indian pale ale flavors that kind of, um, it doesn't explode in your mouth and it isn't really dry but it has a really unique uh, hop flavor that I think would be very good uh, throughout the year. So, cheers to you. I like it. It's very unique. It's worth trying. It's worth your money. I would probably give this about a three and a half, maybe a four. And I, I think it's something that is it's different than anything else. It's not overly Belgian-y. So, um, you know, it's fairly clear in its color. Um, it doesn't have much yeast floating around in it. It does have the, 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 the uh, carbonation side to the Belgian side of the kind of yeast or style. It's got the hoppiness of, the, of an Indian pale on the lower side at 60 IBUs. 8.3% alcohol with a really good kind of, as they describe it, pine and grapefruit flavor. But to me, it's kind of a sweet, unique kind of... Uh, hoppy flavor to it. So I like it a lot. Um, Raging Bitch. There it is. Check it out if you see it. Don't forget to uh, click like on our video if you like it. Uh, don't Please leave some comments. If you've tried Raging, Raging Bitch, let us know what you think about it. And uh, if you like our videos, click subscribe because we've got a lot of stuff coming out here with the colder weather. Thanks for watching microbeerreviews.com. We'll see you again real soon.